Hi everyone, this is Jalissa for Bluefin Studios and today I have a mixed media layout tutorial to share with you using the new uh, Love Story collection. Now I am priming my background paper with clear gesso and the paper is Grand Ball and after priming I'm taking some scrap pieces of paper from um, different papers from the same collection Love Story and um, distressing them, cutting them down to size and distressing the edges just for a bit more texture. After distressing the edges, I am putting together my paper layers. Now I tend to do this before I work on my background because I want to use it as a placement tool so that I can see exactly which um, of the background elements are visible and how I can place them more effectively. And once I'm done with uh, the paper layers, I'm adding some clear gesso on top because part of the painting of the background is going to go onto these paper layers too. So the chipboard that I'm using is the Rose Medley and I want to uh, reflect some of the brick patterns in the paper so that's why I'm using that. So now I am altering the Rose Medley chipboard and creating a bit of a hessian texture using a texture stamp and uh, embossing, white embossing powder onto it. So once the embossing powder has melted, I am brushing on some fiber paste onto the leaves part of the collage and allowing it to dry before I add on more paint. To alter the flower part of the medley, I am adding on some liquid gel medium uh, as a dimensional glue and sprinkling on some colored sand grit in natural and pink because these are part of the colors that I'm using for this layout and allowing it to dry and seal. While that is drying, I am coloring the rest of the chipboard with Distress Paint and Distress Stain in Bundled Sage. And, uh, these two, although they have the same color name, they are actually slightly different in shades, so that gives me quite a bit of dimension in my coloring and shading. So the brick motif is going to be repeating throughout uh, my background as well, and here I am applying some uh, modeling paste on my background paper and you can see how I use my paper layers as a guide to where the uh, modeling paste should go, the stenciling should go so that the pattern shows up very nicely and I'm going to be using two different stencils, a big one and a small brick, a finer uh, one with a finer detail so that helps to fill out the page with uh, details and different types of texture very nicely.
we start adding on color with the same shade of Distress Paint and Distress Stain by um, just very lightly uh, going over the modeling paste and um, so that some of the white still shows through but you still get a little bit of color as well. part where I didn't realize that the camera was off but what I did was to add some uh, color watercolor in dark green and water it down to get a very nice graduated effect uh, and now I'm just doing some random stamping with a script stamp For this next part of the stamping, I am using one of the stamps from Love Story Stamp Set 1, which is the one with the postal markings. And what I'm doing is I'm adding on some matte paint and using that as my ink to stamp around the page. So going back to the same script stem, I am using gesso to do my stamping so that it gives a bit of a contrast against the green and the colour in the background. So now we are going to finish up the altering of the uh, Rose Magni chipboard and now I'm adding on some colour uh, onto the uh, part where we had the fiber paste drying. So layering on different colors starting with the lightest shade and I am just brushing on the watercolor right now. These are the layering stamp stripboard which I absolutely love to use for my flower clusters and I'm painting them with the distress paint and distress stains again. So I've been adding on a few other embellishments onto my background and I have uh, added quite a bit of texture as well using the coloured sun grit as well as my flowers. I am keeping my flowers plain and white because I really want the colours in the background and on the paper to stand out um, without the flowers overpowering the background. And now I am adding on the title piece. And this is all I have to share with you today. Thank you for dropping by and I hope you enjoy the video. Do remember to visit our blog at bluefinstudios.blogspot.com Thank you and goodbye!